spoiler, uh, this is what I want to do with the inside of the inn. And I was trying to decide what banners I liked. And I think it was, I think it was these ones that I liked. And then I wanted to do some, some stuff like this on the upstairs. It's real simple, but it gets the job done. So I think what I'm going to do is just take a screenshot. And then we can wing the rest. That's going to be easy to build. So this will be something simple. Um, it's the banners that I think are going to be tedious. And then these are also pretty straightforward. It's in the ceiling, of course. It's also a little bit cumbersome. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like the orange. I think we definitely want to stick with the the turquoise. Maybe we'll just go with like a solid turquoise. Like we got a solid, solid one there. I don't know. They do sort of look good when you stack them, but they don't really make a lot of sense in that way. Oh, cool. Thanks, Matcast. Yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna shoot me the coordinates, so I can take a look. So we've got two, three, three double beds, and then some shelving, table. Okay, I think I think I should be good. I don't think I need any more. I don't think there's anything else about this. I mean, obviously this is just the shell. It's not the final build. But I think I want to try to get a better shot of the ceiling here too. There is always going to be a need for spruce fences. I deeply appreciate how organized you are with storage. Uh, you're right. It makes life a whole lot easier. And I had a little mini game going for myself where I had filled this up entirely with all 64 stacks of everything. Uh, it didn't last very long, but it was fun to kind of open that up once in a while and be like, oh yeah, that's completely full. Left a 16 mel mending villager there too. In the Mesa? Oh, cool. This is even, and this is just a manual storage. Like it's not auto sorted or anything. Like it's just, you know, you just kind of pop stuff in. This side is, is less organized because I find that I don't have enough room for a proper sorting of all the colors. And this is kind of helter skelter. This kind of, you know, new 1.13 chest that I have. Shush. Be very, very quiet. <laughs> I need to turn down cat noises in this game. Uh, I think that was all we needed. Uh, do I have extra banners? I probably don't have a lot of wool. So let's just bring TLZ. Thank you for the follow and welcome. I don't know if I've seen you in the chat before. Um, I think that's all I need. I don't need the grass seeds though. So we can get rid of you. All right, let's just go through the nether to get back to back to the uh, the inn. I'm trying to travel in different ways. Like I find that I just default to rockets all the time and I need to start using the nether more. Yeah, there's rainbow sheep for follows. I think there's a star for, um, for what? Um, for subscriptions. And then there's a zombie for raids. So I've redecorated this portal so it now kind of looks a little bit more like the actual inn on a bridge. It's hard to see in here, but there actually is some uh, dark oak up there. But we've got that sorted out now. And the prismarine is the backdrop for the portal. And that pops us out right here, which is super cool. I've actually 
I don't know what's on the other side of that. If that's the wall, because we could also put prismarine in there, which would be kind of cool. So some of this is going to be pretty easy. Uh, did I not? Oh my gosh. I did all that work and I left the wood shulker box up against the wall in the barn. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, this game. Uh, this way. I wish there was a way to prevent, uh, a better way to prevent zombie pigmen from spawning. Like, you'd have to do the whole thing in glass and carpet. I wish there was something you could do to keep them away, but because this is problematic, like, he's always in the way. I didn't realize there was three of them. Give me anything good? No. One gold nugget and two zombie flesh. Right. Uh, shulker box is right there where I left it. Perfect. That is not helpful. Please go in the right spot. Thank you. Okay. Uh, flesh. Yoink. Gold nugget. I think these just go in here. Yeah. One thing we don't have in the nether that I'd love to remedy is uh, speed boost, like beacons, but it's such a pain uh, to dig out to the roof of the nether. So I don't know exactly when we'll get around to putting beacons in the nether. I would love to, though, especially at the hub. Like we could hide them, like in the corners. Because there's nothing back here like you know you could easily get them to a point where you could slide a beacon beam up behind some of these pillars and get the effect i also really need to decorate this tunnel this is really kind of black yeah no i i tend not to misplace shelco boxes i don't have a lot of them so i also apparently can't say that word shulker boxes um, yeah, it's, it's not something I have a lot of, so I tend not to leave them and lose them, but I tend to forget them when I need to bring them with me. All right, so let's put this down here. So I know that we had, I think it was a, so it's got some spruce trap doors. I might have some spruce trap doors in here. Nope. That's all right, we'll have to make some. How many do I need? I need at least one, two, four. Probably just try to make these as I need them. So two slabs. And I believe that this was meant to be kind of like a footstool and then a chair. So we can sort of do that. that and then I think I have to go on the back here and that's sort of meant to look like look like a chair and an ottoman I don't know I think that sort of works you have to have super long minecraft legs to reach that but not much you could do uh, and then beds what color do we want to make the beds I guess I kind of want to make them white, but that seems boring. So maybe light blue or cyan. I'm just curious. Hmm. I think the cyan maybe. Oh, there's a bed in here. I could just die the bed. I did not see that bed. Oh, that's the cyan. I want... Oh, I don't have any light blue dye. All right. Well, we'll just make... We'll just make the light blue bed. Uh, 
So there's a light blue bed. And then there's also a white bed. So what do we think? Ultimately, there's going to be three double beds. Uh, one here. I could probably get rid of this and just turn this sideways. So there's going to be like a double bed there, a double bed there, and a double bed there. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe the cyan. I know it gets really close to the to the wall color, but uh, light gray. Try. Try light gray. We're going to have more beds than I know what to do with after all this is done. Actually, let's put this next to the white one. Oh, yeah. Um, whatever I choose, they're all going to be the same color. So there would be six beds in here, all the same color. Yeah, I know what you mean, Jared. The, the cyan does almost match the wall a little bit too bad. Kind of like the orange. Yeah, I guess that does kind of go with that does kind of go with the the room. I'm gonna sleep in one of these just so we can get some more light in here. Uh, yeah, we could try the orange. I think it's down to the orange and the cyan for me. So let's do this. Put this one here. I don't think you can dye beds once they've been dyed, right? Like if I wanted to change, I wanted to change this bed. Oh, I can do that. I guess maybe because it's a white bed. There's the cyan. Do I have, I don't think I have any orange dye. No, of course I don't. So cyan or orange? I guess, I don't know, the orange is not bad, is it? It does sort of match the um, the orange uh, acacia wood. I think I'm going to go with cyan. Just for now. We can always change it if it's over and overwhelming. Oh, yeah, you can't. Once it's a... Once it's a bed, it's a bed. Uh, so let's see here. We need four... I need four beds... And then I need to Darmoon314. Thank you for the subscription. No, it's not subscription for the follow. Hello. So we do this. This is a little tedious, but we can get it done. And then we can just put them all down. And maybe we'll find some other way to put orange accents in here. Maybe we'll put something up on the on the walls. So as you come up the stairs, you'll see. Yeah. I think that also makes this, the chair stand out because it's a different color than the beds. So that's good. Uh, the other thing that we had were some fence gates and more spruce trap doors. So I need at least two more trap doors and I need some sticks which I think what box I'm not sure if I actually have sticks um, 
I don't think there's any sticks in the redstone box. There probably isn't. No. Okay. So we'll just grab some other wood from here. I guess I didn't really need that many sticks. I think there are two, looks like two fence gates here that are then opened with trap doors like that. Or maybe they're facing the other way. Oh yeah, I think that's probably better. Makes a little bit more sense. Makes it look like the wood grain is running that way across the top. So we need a fence post and a pressure plate for over here. I think it's, I guess it would be here. And hold on a second, I need to look at <clears throat> the other screenshots here. I feel like there's another table behind me that I didn't screenshot. I think there's a table like right here next to, uh, next to the bed. The only thing about these is that they connect to the wall and I find that a little bit weird. I don't know if you can put, can you put uh, pressure plates on, on fence gates? You probably can't. I'm guessing you probably can't do this, but I'm gonna test it out anyway, just in case. Nope. I guess I could just do another one of those fence gate tables. Yeah, you know what? I think I prefer that. I think I prefer that. I kind of like how it looks like they're attached to the wall. And then we need another trap door. It's a little high, but it's fine. Uh, and all of this, of course, is not going to be here. Orange tulips and flower pots could be a nice touch. Ooh, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Uh, do we have any place that we could put them though? Because you can't put flower top flower pots here. I don't think I could put a flower pot there. Yeah, these would have to be like on that level in order to put a flower pot on them, which is too bad. I guess that that doesn't look terrible, but I prefer there to be something underneath it. But yeah, that's an idea too, isn't it? We could easily put, if we drop these down, then we could have flower pots. What does this look like if we only have one support and then we do that? That sort of looks like it's attached, doesn't it? Because then we could put a we could put a flower top pot on that. That could be kind of fun. Yeah, it's a, that's the thing about Minecraft tables. I don't. I'm not a. I'm not a fan of interiors anyway. This is a real stretch for me. I'm doing this just to kind of get this build finished so I can walk away from it and call it done. Um, I guess we could try to also do it here. How did that end up over there? Wow. My concern is that if I make this too wide, it's going to feel like it's in your face. Like if there's a, if there's a, uh, a thing there when you come up the stairs that just feels really kind of like poke you in the eye. 
sort of level. Although this would be a good place to put a flower if we wanted to. What? If there's nothing else that we could put underneath there. I don't think. The only thing I can think of that we could possibly do is if we replaced this slab, because I'm pretty sure this is a slab. So that is just a square, that's just a slab, or was that a whole block? That was a whole block. So this is a top slab or block roof, which means I could put this back and then I could do, I could do an upside down stair Although that's kind of chunky. Yeah, I kind of prefer the table. Uh, I'm just trying to think like I could also try to do something like, what would, a, what would this look like? Like if it's a chair next to the bed? What I wanted to do was be able to put a flower pot on this too. I don't know many people who are big fans of interiors. Hopefully all new crafting blocks make interiors easier to do once they're added. Yeah, uh, the the loom block and or the the um the other new crafting blocks do look really cool. I'm not really what sure what to do about interiors. I just I don't I don't find Minecraft really makes them very easy. What I like to do is just make my interiors actually Minecraft function, you know, like crafting tables and ender chests and you know, a place that you can store stuff. Have the outside look really pretty, but then have the inside be purely function. Um you can do some cool stuff with modern looking things. I find that when you want things to look like, you know, 1400s or 1500s it looks a little bit strange uh so that doesn't quite work the other thing that i wanted to try was a slab so i don't know whether we could do whether this looks too oh we can't do that yeah whoop oh no sorry uh so yeah we could do this but it just feels like there needs to be something underneath it. That's my only, my only problem with doing that. Yeah, like I find that looks, that looks much better to me, uh, even if I can't put anything on it. Okay, so I think I think that takes care of all the furniture that I want to put in here. So now the real test is going to be do I remember how to make those banners? And I'm pretty sure that they started with a blank banner. So let's just see here. <laughs>